It has been a day of grief for family members, anxiously hoping for the best, but fearing the worst. We were there as loved ones received the worst possible news, a sobering and heartbreaking moment. Our Melanie Michael was there. She saw it firsthand. She also continues our live team coverage tonight in Orlando, and, uh, and you've had a chance to speak with some of the parents and feel that grief for yourself. We have Keith and Jen. I'll tell you what, I'll never forget that sound of pure anguish and agony when those family members learned the news that they were dreading the entire time, losing their loved ones. And again, as you mentioned, we were there, we witnessed it. They were hoping so much that they would hear something that was good, something that was positive. Many of them still waiting for answers tonight. She begged for help in finding her son. I've just been trying all morning, so I can't find him. So please just keep us in your prayers, and hopefully this madness will stop. I don't know what else to say. 33-year-old Tony Marrero was celebrating his birthday Saturday night at Pulse. His parents haven't heard from him since. We're just looking for our son. That's your son? Yeah, and we haven't heard from him, so we're just... Doing what everyone else is doing. He works at Universal, and I'm just hoping we find him. That's all I want. I don't mean to be mean, but my main concern right now is to find him. So please bear with me. Let me go inside. I need to get inside. Nobody's giving me no information. Families and friends were devastated as they anxiously asked questions, fearing the answers. So right now, we're about to find out more information on, on possibly him. I don't, I don't know nothing. What is he here, he or life or death? I don't know nothing. How, how is your... No, my heart is... <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so... Love your loved ones. They're not always promised to be here another day with you. I was holding my best friend's hand, and he told me, don't let it go. And I said, we're going to get out of here. So... I'm here now. And that's a look at the raw emotion that was taking place today, guys. And I do want to have an update right now for you for Tony Marrero, the young man that you heard about in the story. He is in extremely critical condition tonight. So his mother got the answer she was hoping for that he was alive, but she's scared that he may not make it. So a lot of prayers and support uh, pouring into Orlando tonight, but still a lot of nervous moments as the hours go on until dawn. Keith. Yeah, thoughts and prayers for that family and for all of the families and friends involved in this. Thank you, Melanie Michael, reporting live for us tonight.